Right now, one of the deadliest volcanoes in human history is quietly recharging, and when it erupts again, scientists warn the devastation could be worse than Pompeii. Three million people live within its reach. Entire cities sit on evacuation maps, and experts believe the clock is already ticking. Vesuvius has been silent since 1944, but that silence may be the most dangerous sign of all. In the past, this volcano has buried civilizations, poisoned skies across continents, and even changed the course of empires. So what happens when it awakens in the modern world? To find out, we need to look beneath the surface at the hidden forces building inside Mount Vesuvius and why its next eruption could be far deadlier than the last. Mount Vesuvius isn't just a mountain. It's a geological time bomb born from two colliding worlds. It sits on the boundary where the African tectonic plate is diving beneath the Eurasian plate. That collision fuels some of the most explosive volcanoes on Earth. But what makes Vesuvius so dangerous isn't just where it sits, it's what's hidden inside. Vesuvius is a stratovolcano, a steep cone built from layers of lava and ash. And here's the deadly catch. Its magma is thick and sticky, trapping gas until pressure explodes outward in violent blasts. Think of it as a soda bottle shaken for decades. Eventually, something has to give. The volcano itself is actually two mountains in one, the older Monte Soma Caldera and the younger, more active cone of Vesuvius that grew inside it. Together, they form a double structure riddled with cracks and vents. And over thousands of years, those hidden chambers have fueled eruptions so massive, they didn't just reshape the mountain, they reshaped history itself. For as long as humans have lived in its shadow, Vesuvius has been rewriting history in fire and ash. In 79 AD, it unleashed one of the most infamous disasters the world has ever seen. A colossal eruption buried Pompeii and Herculaneum in toxic ash, preserving entire cities in a frozen moment of time. Eyewitness accounts describe towering ash clouds, suffocating darkness, and pyroclastic surges that raced faster than a human could run. Thousands died within hours. But Pompeii was only one chapter in a much longer story of destruction. In 472 AD, Vesuvius blasted ash so high it reached Constantinople, over 700 miles away. In 1631, it killed nearly 4,000 people as torrents of mud, lava, and ash wiped out villages. In 1906, one of its largest eruptions forced the evacuation of Naples. And in 1944, during World War II, its last eruption destroyed villages and even dozens of Allied aircraft parked at a nearby airfield. Historically, eruptions came every few decades, but after 1944, Vesuvius fell silent nearly 80 years without an eruption. To scientists, that silence isn't comforting, it's terrifying. So what's been happening beneath the mountain since 1944? And are the warning signs already here? Since 1944, Vesuvius has been silent, but silence doesn't mean safety. Beneath its slopes, scientists detect subtle tremors, gas leaks, and ground shifts, all signs that magma is still alive and moving underground. In the 1990s and 2000s, clusters of small quakes rattled the volcano. They didn't lead to an eruption, but they proved Vesuvius was far from dormant. And the longer this volcano rests, the more pressure is likely building in its magma chambers. Recently, attention has shifted to another nearby giant, the Campi Flegre supervolcano just west of Naples. In 2024 and early 2025, it shook with swarms of earthquakes some as strong as magnitude 4.4. Walls cracked, streets shook, and evacuations were ordered. Campi Flegre and Vesuvius share the same tectonic system. If one is restless, the other is never truly quiet. Gas emissions from Vesuvius remain stable for now, but subtle ground movements and low-level quakes continue. To volcanologists, these are whispers from deep underground, whispers that the giant is stirring again. And when Vesuvius wakes, it won't just threaten Naples. The impact could ripple far beyond Italy's borders. So what happens if history repeats itself, but this time in the middle of a modern metropolis? If Vesuvius were to erupt today, the consequences could be catastrophic, not just for Italy, but for the world. The volcano's magma is unusually rich in silica, 
which makes it thick and gas-charged. That's why Vesuvius rarely oozes gentle lava flows. Instead, it builds pressure until it explodes with towering ash plumes and pyroclastic surges. Those surges are the deadliest force on Earth. Avalanches of superheated gas and ash racing down the slopes faster than a car on the highway, incinerating everything in their path. Nearly 3 million people live within 30 kilometers of the volcano. Around 600,000 are inside the official red zone, the area most at risk from pyroclastic flows, lahars, and ashfall. And here's the chilling part. Scientists estimate that from the first clear warning signs, Naples might have less than 72 hours to evacuate, but narrow streets, traffic jams, and limited escape routes could turn that into chaos. A major eruption wouldn't stop at Naples. Heavy ash could collapse rooftops across southern Italy, contaminate water supplies, and ground flights across Europe. Even moderate eruptions in the past have disrupted Mediterranean trade and darkened skies for weeks. In fact, the 472 AD eruption spread ash all the way to Constantinople, over 700 miles away. With modern air travel, an event like that today could paralyze Europe's airports and ripple into the global economy. Tourism, the lifeblood of Naples and Pompeii, would collapse overnight. Priceless archaeological sites from Roman ruins to Renaissance landmarks could be buried or destroyed forever. And remember, the longer Vesuvius rests, the more its magma evolves chemically, making each eruption potentially more explosive than the last. Which raises the ultimate question, are we actually prepared for the next eruption, or are we repeating the same mistakes that doomed Pompeii nearly 2,000 years ago? Fortunately, Italy has invested heavily in watching Vesuvius. And it has to, because this volcano gives little warning. Vesuvius is monitored by the Osservatorio Vesuviano, the world's oldest volcanology institute, founded back in 1841. Today, it runs a sophisticated network of seismometers, GPS sensors, gas analyzers, and thermal cameras, all scanning for signs of unrest. These tools can detect magma movements deep underground, a sudden swarm of quakes, rapid ground uplift, or spikes in sulfur dioxide could be the first clues that an eruption is coming. But here's the challenge, volcanoes lie. Not every signal means an eruption is imminent. Distinguishing false alarms from genuine threats is one of science's hardest tasks. To prepare, Italy has a national evacuation plan. The red zone around Vesuvius, home to more than 600,000 people, is mapped for evacuation drills. Residents are meant to be relocated by bus and trained to safer regions if danger rises. Yet critics argue the plan has serious flaws. Roads are narrow, congestion is constant, and coordination between towns is uneven. Public awareness is limited, and in a real emergency, panic could cause deadly delays. So the question remains, can modern science and infrastructure really outpace a force that once buried Pompeii in a single night? To answer that, we need to look ahead at the future of Vesuvius and what scientists fear may be coming next. Mount Vesuvius remains a ticking time bomb, and scientists agree on one thing. It's not a question of if it erupts again, but when. Long dormancy often means larger, more explosive eruptions. As magma sits underground, it cools and evolves chemically, trapping more gases and building greater pressure. Thankfully, new tools are giving us a clearer picture. Satellites now track ground deformation with millimeter precision. Machine learning helps identify eruption patterns in seismic data. And international collaborations are running simulations to model worst-case scenarios. Yet even with all this progress, one truth remains. No monitoring system can predict the exact moment of eruption. Science may give us days of warning, but society's ability to act in time will decide the outcome. If handled wisely, the next eruption could be disruptive, but survivable. If handled poorly, it could become the deadliest volcanic disaster of the modern era. Vesuvius has slept for nearly 80 years, and when it awakens, the world will be watching. The only question is, Will we be ready? If you found this video fascinating, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into Earth's hidden dangers, and let me know in the comments. Do you think Naples is prepared for the next eruption?